Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can add curves to your object in a way that is topologically sound. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So let's go ahead and start with just a, a box right here. All right, so if I just insert a loop through here and just kind of move this down and let's say like this. All right, so what if you want to have a curve right here? Well, what you can do, the first method is to use chamfer so I've got that set to control alt C. So we chamfer. So I'm holding on left mouse button to increase the width. You can then hold down alt and then move left and right. Increase the segments and then let go of alt to once again, increase the width. Then when you let go of the left mouse button, you can change the sharpness or the, this angle right here. All right. So that is one way. A second way is if I just delete this. All right, so what I like to do sometimes is insert a loop here, swift loop here, swift loop here, double click on this, and then use set flow, which is a good idea to set to a hotkey. So then if you use swift loop again, you can hold down shift as you left click to automatically apply set flow afterwards. And what that would do is follow the curve right here. All right, so the problem is, is that what if I'm gonna curve these right here? Well. If you simply use chamfer, you will of course get that bad and gone topology. Now, of course, what you can do is simply use retopology afterwards. It's gonna fix that, but of course they in introduce lots of loops here as well. So let me show you another way you can do this. All right, simply insert a loop here and then here and here. Then select this and use set flow on it and you will get a curve right here. All right, same thing for this right here. So now you've got a curve here, but it's still topologically sound. And I'm also going to, let's say, use by angle and inset right here. Now the problem is, is that if you subdivide right now, whether you use creases or support loops, you're gonna get a bad result right here. Notice how upon subdivision, it doesn't really maintain the shape that we want. Now why is that? Well, it's because even if you are using creases, you want another loop right here to maintain these straight areas right here. So you want one right here, probably just one right there, and one right here. And so if I turn Edit Poly on and off, you will see what a nice difference these loops make. Before, not the shape we want after, you can see how it's maintained that straightness there. So it's very important, even if you use increases, to get that loop there. All right, let's do another example. So let's say I just hold or just select through this. And I'm going to inset here and I'm going to bridge. All right, once again, we don't quite have a curve here. So I can just like this kind of move this to get a curve right here. Once again, let's insert loops through here. Now I have a curve here. Now I can edit this. So notice how we're getting this kind of bad result right here. That can be fixed by a loop right there before and after. Same for here. Found there to be a curve right here. I will insert a loop here. So in this situation, Cephal does not work very well because there's not it's a sharp angle here. So here I'll just gonna move it like this and then set up support loops right here. And now we have that curve happening here. And now I can inset here as well. Let's say I select this and I bridge. 
Or let's inset first and bridge. You can see we've got this happening here. So I can select these and scale them together. Get more of a curve right here. You can see if I move this right here to get a curve, we've got the strangeness happening here. So let's actually add a loop here. Thank you for watching and take care.